I have a lot of addition problems to do, but I need some help. Addition is getting more of something. How about having a little fun while we learn? Let's play a game called Add One More. When I say a number, you add one more. One, add one more, two, two, add one more, three, three, add one more, four, four, add one more, five, five, add one more, six, six, add one more, seven, seven, add one more, eight, eight, add one more, nine, finally, nine, add one more, Ten. That was a lot of fun, right? You can play that with your friends too. Let's watch this video to become an expert in addition. Let's begin with a simple problem with addition. Let's say you had two candies and your friend gave you one more. He didn't seem to like that flavor. So how many do you think you have? So let's draw two candies here. So here's one candy, and here's another. So this is what you already have, okay? Now let's draw one more candy that your friend gave you. Two orange candies that you already had, and one candy that he gave you. So how many do you have all together? Let's see, there's one, two, and three. You have three candies. Now let's try to write the above as an addition problem. Okay, so you already had two candies, that's one and two. So we'll write two here. Your friend gave you one more, so that's one. Now how many do you have all together? Okay, and here in between, let's put a plus sign. This plus sign denotes addition. Okay, so plus basically means you're bringing two numbers together, that's this number here and this number here, to make a bigger number. Now after you write 2 plus 1, we'll write here an equal sign, okay? Equal basically tells you that when you put two numbers together, what do you get? Okay, the answer that you get. So 2 plus 1 equals 3. Okay, just like how we drew here, one candy, two candy, so that's two here, plus one from above here, from what your friend gave you, equals three in total. It can also be written as two plus one equals three. Let me give you a different example. Imagine you had three marbles, and you wanted more, so you went and bought four more. How many marbles do you have all together? How would you write it as a problem? Come on, take a paper and a pencil and do it along with me. You can check if you get the same answer. All right, so you already had, we'll say, three marbles. We'll write down three here. And you went and bought four more. Now, how many do you have all together? Or how many do you have in total? We'll write an addition symbol here, a plus sign, okay? Now, let's try to make it easier. We'll draw the marbles, okay? So I have three marbles here on this side. There's one, two, and three. Now, Let's draw the marbles on this side where you went to the store and got some more. That's one, two, three, four. Okay, so what is the total? Okay, let's do it together. There's one here, two, three, four, five, here that one's six, and that is seven. So the answer is seven. Let me put a little equal sign here for the total. 
Total is seven marbles. Wow. Now, I want you all to remember that addition can be done in any order. If it's three plus four or four plus three, the answer will be the same. We've already seen three plus four here. Okay? Now, let me show you four plus three. Okay? Now, let me draw the marbles here again. So there's one, two, three, four. Four nice shiny marbles, okay? Now here, on this side, there's three. One, two, three. Okay, and we'll put a little equal sign here. Now, let's count them together again. One, second marble, two, this marble here is three, this marble here is four, this one here is five, and then you got six, and you got seven. What do you know? We get the same answer. Four plus three equals seven, and three plus four also equals seven. Now, let me put forth a tricky one, okay? Let me write it down here. There's seven plus zero equals Okay, now say you have seven cupcakes. Your mom was being really generous and made a lot of cupcakes. Now, she gave you zero more. So say your mom was being very adventurous in the kitchen and she decided to bake, okay? And she made a lot of really yummy, delicious cupcakes. So let's see here, let me draw these cupcakes, okay? There's one, two, three, four, five yummy chocolate cupcakes, or you can, you know, choose whatever flavor you like. Could be lemon, I don't think they have lemon cupcakes, those are tarts, but, but let's just say these are chocolate. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? Put some chocolate sprinkles on top, there you go. Now, now your mom was tired and she gave you zero more, okay? Now, as you see, I can't really draw more because zero stands for nothing. Your mom gave you no more cupcakes. So you still only have seven, but seven cupcakes is a lot. So when you add zero to any number, big or small, the answer is the same. In this case, it is seven. You're still pretty lucky to have seven chocolate cupcakes. I hope you have followed this video on basic addition. Go through it again and try solving as many single digit problems as you can. So see you next time. Keep on working at it.